Is that mind game? What are you doing, Peter? In there? Losing is learning, man. Like, yeah. you lose a game, you come back, you're like, why'd we lose? And then you come back and beat it. So you yeah. guys learned a lot this event, then? No, we didn't even get to play very many games, <laughs> so not too much learning. No, oh, jeez. Um, how much? How much do you think it affects the matchup? Like a lot of teams have been banning the Miracle Invoker, even first phase. Do you do you think that's like a concern for OG at all that he he loses that game? One thing I didn't like about last wise. game is how they first two two of their cores. I'm a big fan of kind of waiting on that and maybe counterpicking the cores that newbie would pick. So maybe, uh, maybe they go for something else first two. Maybe pick up one of their supports since they seem to kind of be defaulting to Fly playing one of three heroes throughout most of their drafts. Maybe his hero isn't so important to save for later in the draft. And OG are going to have first pick this time, but they still ban the Lifestealer. It's not as much of a go-to for them. They thought they could beat it. They were wrong. <laughs> so let's, let's ban it this time. And you give me Lifestealer. I mean, this is their fifth try or something, right? Well, yeah. they also have first pick this time too, so it shows that they're not incredibly confident with the hero as Newbie is. Newbie showing the IO, the respect I think it deserves, sure. taking that tool away from OG. It's always been a Western hero. Yeah. DK TI4 hour played it pretty well. There's always been Lowercase super. A couple of uh, exemptions, but... Yeah. By and large, definitely a Western hero. Newbie really Th taking their time with the Phoenix second Phoenix might make it through, we'll see. Yeah, so Phoenix is probably one of the big ones. I think that's going to be our first pick from OG, most likely. That was something as well OG didn't have last time was that healer kind of hero, whether it was a Juggernaut, a Dazzle, Wisp, Phoenix, so... I and out of the ones in Vogue, probably the, the Phoenix the most yeah. successful here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Those first two banned from Newbie last game and for good reason. They didn't have anything to really save anybody. You saw Miracle got gone on a lot and if he got initiated on, he was more or less just dead. Yeah, like, they had Venge, but like with Slaughter Amp and Lifestar popping out, any hero's dying in less than a second. How much do you value having like a crit roaming hero? Like Earth Spirit's the big one. Ricky Ban, wow. Um, I don't necessarily think it's needed. I think that they just need to do better in their lanes. That's, okay. that's what Dota always comes down to, is how well do you do in your lanes. And OG did not do well. So OG get first pick, Phoenix out there. As is the Earth Spirit. Yeah. Mm. It offers uh, another form of initiation, unlike last game, where they were just relying on Moon. Yeah, Nubi are dire again. They do tend to favor like the strong Roche taking heroes on that side, especially. Uh, we see most teams yeah, like that. I Death mean, Prophet, Slardar are still yeah, available. Dire has uh, been heavily favored this 50, tournament. 59 wins from 88 games so far. Oh, uh, wow. More than 67% win rate. Yeah. Posey on 70. Yeah. For Dire? Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. You've seen a lot of teams this tournament, if they're behind, they take Roche on. It, Did OG oh. take Radiant in the last game? They were Radiant. Um, yeah. They were Radiant second pick, which is the interesting thing. Oh, okay, so maybe they just like second pick. What's the difference in mentality if you're like a, a Radiant team? I know you, you, in Dire Boys, you, you talked a bit about like pushing is more important. Yeah, there's actually not too many advantages to being Radiant right now. Now, <laughs> it's with, just with, strictly with, worse. Yeah, basically. I think it's just worse with the new map changes. There's really not too many benefits. All right, so newbie do get their Phoenix. The Void got banned second stage last game. Uh, but they're going to grab it here first stage, and it was the crit Earth Spirit to open things up. The only like major differences I can think of is that the the Ancients from Dire are like, well I guess it's another Dire advantage for the offline, but the Ancients are just so much closer. <laughs> the only advantage I can think of for Radiant yeah, is that another advantage for Dire. Dire. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean back like what, half a year ago, there there was like this mentality amongst at least some players that just like being on Radiant and pushing up felt felt better. It's like a really weak argument. That's but... for that's mostly for less experienced players, I think. But... Yeah. I mean, it was like some pro players mentioned it. Like mm -hmm. we talked about it on EG like a, a couple times here and there. But it's it's more of a mental thing, not like a tangible advantage on the map. Yeah, it's definitely some players do prefer to be playing down the screen rather than up the screen. There is, there is that, and not just in Dota, but in other games as well, which is, uh, well, that's how you feel, I guess. That's how you feel. And Peter, Peter shaking his head. What, what are we like, talking about? about, about Let's right talk now. about the draft. Get that rider here. gets picked. <laughs> Well, they do, be banning up yeah, they do have two forms of initiation now with Earth Spirit they, and the bat. They also have the Earth Spirit who can move a lot, can potentially help secure the bat's lane a bit. Uh, Moon not having a good start was definitely an issue last game. Void's a really tough hero to zone as like one support. There's only like a couple that can actually zone out a um, Void entirely. Sometimes you'll have, like your carry can help you, whether it's like a Clinks or a Draw Ranger with the orb effect. He can kind of orb walk behind the creep wave and help you zone out a Void, but 
With an Earth Spirit, I don't think they'll be necessarily committed to sol uh, zoning out a Void solo, so maybe we'll see Fly on something a little bit stronger in lane, perhaps. Maybe a Disruptor? I don't even think Disruptor can do it. Maybe, I, I, we, we always go to, with Bane, but Bane's not always the best hero. It's not really that bad at all this game, though. Yeah, they took a, they, uh, took a Disruptor in the second game that they played against Nubi in the uh, group stage. That one ended after 28 minutes, though, so... Yeah, maybe not. So Nubi banning the Lycan. Again, not so the OG have run a whole lot, but they have basically no objective taking potential right now. Already two picks in, so... Bench Phoenix are banned, so that kind of leaves Disruptor or um, Dazzle for Fly. And Dazzle seems like kind of where they would go, That since they have two initiation heroes, an Earth Spirit and Batrider, but Nubi always has the potential to pick AA as well, which combos really well with Void and is incredibly good versus Dazzle. Yeah, what are they going to combo with the Void here? Well, they already the have DP the already got banned. Let's see. They've run Clinks with it. Yeah, they've they run. Clinks. They're still Invoker. From a support point of view, they've run the Lion with it before. Uh, I mean, they run the Lion just gets with banned almost now. everything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, obviously, you just want damage to dump into Chrono, mm -hmm. uh, but the Lion does get banned now. And they've also used the Dark Seer as well. Ten seconds remaining. I'd say Void Phoenix and like one more is pretty much all you need. If you go seat. AA here, though, you're lacking any like control or playmaking potential from your supports. Okay. They're taking Miracles Invoker. I think that's. Mm, have they been playing Plus Wex? Or has it been Exhort? They have not been running too much of the hero. They ran it once against Fnatic. Um, did they have Void? Uh, they did not. Okay. They had, that was the game where they ran the KP Naga, so yeah. it was kind of a curveball draft. I think it was Quas Wex, though, I want to say. I'm not totally sure what we'll see here, Let's but see. I think that... Oh, no, it was actually Quas Exhort. Weaver might be a pretty good likelihood for um, how this game. Well, they do go with the Fly Dazzle. Yeah, man, I got this. I got this. There you go. <laughs> TI winning drafter right here. I mean, you gotta, you gotta play what you know, and OG is, you know, picking some of their staples because that's what got them here, and that's what you need to do. And Dazzle's great this game. It's, there's nothing that says it's not a good pick this game. Five seconds remaining. Unless they pick AA. <laughs> Well, but I, guess, I guess like you said, AA Phoenix isn't the greatest support it's combo. It's really not. I, yeah, it's you don't have any disable yeah. from those two. They're both it's very weird. level dependent. They're not that good at moving around early. Very so. static, and you can't help lanes. And you're against Earth Spirit, and Earth yeah. Spirit will be moving. So mm -hmm. I don't think that's the way Newbie's headed. Disruptor's okay for Tuan. That's one of the heroes he's been playing a lot. Yeah, Pretty good against Bat. Yeah, great for Bat. Good for chasing follow-up kills good after Chrono. Silence is nice for Dazzle. So just looking back on their last uh, set of games against OG, they haven't run an Invoker in any of those games. I think Nubi will take their support hero here and then wait on their, since they have the last pick of the draft. Oh, they do go away. They'll they be do. able to see both of OG's heroes here, which they're going to see their mid and their carry, and then they're going to be able to last pick Hao's here, or they could run Void for Hao, which he has played before, and then they could have KPI play something else. Like Sardar, for example. So, uh, so I think yeah, Slaughter's still in the pool, that's an option, but maybe even like his Naga or something along those lines. Okay. Or Tidehunter is still very, very good. Yeah, both of those here is great against the bat initiation, especially. Definitely. Do you well, think Tide... Tide makes them super cooldown dependent, though? No, I don't think so. I think with Tide, they can just walk down a lane, and if Batrider tries to go, Tide's going to have a Ravage okay. in the mech, and Phoenix mm -hmm. is going to Sunray whoever they go on, and that person's not going to die. So OG really haven't shown anything about their overall game plan here. Just solid laning supports and an initiator, but we don't see if they're going to go for more split push, more farm. They know they're fighting a huge team fight right now. Yeah, Newbie's safe lane's a little weird, like we talked about Phoenix and AA being not the best support duo, but AA does kind of secure your lane with the chilling touch, so... Maybe Dude, OG, maybe Cradle roam up there in Batrider and try, or on Earth Spirit and try to help out Bat, but... I mean, once in a while OG has run the No-Tail Bat, something they've shied away from a bit recently. Um, Any chance of that I'd be out? really surprised if they did that. I think this tournament, it's been Moon that's almost always... It was like every game at Shanghai, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely been different. I mean, they didn't do that well at Shanghai, so... <laughs> We're talking about going back to things that work, so... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm not sure what No-Tail here we'll see here. Juggernaut was CPL. banned last game. But it's tough when you have these 4th and 5th picks because you need to pick a hero that's not going to get totally counterpicked Ooh. by that last selection. Okay. There's a lot of ways to deal with refraction here. Yeah. We'll know a lot more about OG's hero when we see this last ban. TA is a good matchup against Invoker, but you know beyond that, there's still there's Phoenix to deal with it, there's AA... Phoenix is incredibly great versus TA. Yeah, on so. paper it looks like a hard TA game in the mid game, but they do have Earth Spirit TA with even the Dazzle may be able to TP if needed, so 
perhaps they're just trying to crush the lane. You mentioned laning being really important here. And there's a matchup where TA can do it. Barrier's well. great versus AA, great versus Invoker. Um, he's okay versus Phoenix. They don't have a great way to deal with the lasso initiation. Not yet. But they do have one more pick. That's true, they don't have, like, last game it was Chuan and the Lion yeah. blinking as soon as Moon would blink in and lasso, Chuan would blink in and go on the bat. They don't really have that this game. A is not going to be able to kind of initiate. So Phoenix can maybe get an Ags and... Hey, can you can you take someone out of lasso with Ags? I'm not totally uh, sure. I mean, we not don't really sure. see very many Phoenix Ags. <laughs> yeah, if it well, gets to that point, it be fucked in. I just don't know what kind of effect yeah. that Ags. I know you can't, you can't snowball someone out of lasso, so... Hmm, I'm not sure. So they ban Dro again, two games in a row now, fifth banning the hero, just really, now with the Lycan also has been banned, so there's no, like, just pick this hero, win all the lanes option. Yeah, it's a huge focus on lanes for newbie right now. Yeah. Slark ban. Hmm. The, uh, the strange thing about the Drow is they, uh, they played OG. That's new. Oh. With Whoa. the Drow. And, and uh, newbie won very easily. Now for the fifth pick. So this is one of the ways to counter big team fights. Silencer used to be a, a hero teams would experiment with. Song, obviously great for resetting fights. Can also split push and just prevent them from ever well, five manning with the combo. It's true, it's a lot of bursts though. I don't know if necessarily Naga Sleep is going to save someone. They're going to get chronoed, there's going to be a sun strike, and there's going to be an AA blast. And, and if it all dumps in, it exactly. may not matter. The rest are just right clicks at that point, so. They do have Grave as well, so. But if they. Naga's a great hero to give them lots of vision that will allow them to kind of figure out where newbies' heroes are throughout the game and maybe dodge some of these team fights or maybe find themselves taking favorable fights. So what pulls it together here for newbie? Something to deal with uh, the Naga. The lasso Lucas. as well. Ember Spirit. Sven still in the pool, I think. Weaver. No, nah, there's the Ember. Yeah. Nice. Fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. What, it's a, no, what it's, a trap, it's, it's all good, it's all good. We've got PPD here and he's saved the last place. Entirely. Last place Vanilla Major, guys. <laughs> uh, final <laughs> thoughts, Charlie. Well, this is a new look for OG. Uh, have we ever seen a No-Tail Naga Siren? Not here. I don't think so. No. It's been hey, a while. What do, you, what do you reckon? Who's got the better draft? Um, oh, man. It's going to depend on Moon once again, if he's gets anything out of the offlane. If he gets things out of the offlane, I'm a fan of OG. Otherwise, I'll just take Newbie again. Okay, key man. Moon, LD. It's definitely look, a new look from, from OG especially. I think Newbie being dire side with this much team fight, this much AoE. I just think this is an overall comfortable draft for them. So OG have to win the lanes. I favor Newbie here. Okay, all right, thank you to all three of our panelists. We'll head over to our commentary team <laughs> once more control, yeah. for game number two. Thank you very much, Paul. Indeed, game two now of OG versus Newbie. Let's not waste any time as we get into game two. So indeed, here we have it. Gods, let's talk about this. OG, bringing something a little bit different to the board. No tail Naga Siren. What's your thoughts? <laughs> you know, you, see, you get excited when you see a player on a new hero combo, but Naga Siren, maybe not the most exciting or flashy hero, but we're going to see what No Tail can do in this hero. I, I'm curious to see OG and how yes. they can pull this off and how it changes things with this team, because this is probably the, one of the last heroes I would have expected out of OG at this tournament. Absolutely, and it's going to be very interesting to see how it, how it does against Newbie's lineup. I mean, they've got an incredibly strong composition, that, yep. that infamous Void combination with the Phoenix, and then the fact that they've taken Miracle's Invoke away, they're going to put Mu, of course, on it in the mid lane. The, the carry how on his Ember Spirit. The one weakness that the panel did talk about, though, is the fact that between the AA and the Phoenix, maybe a little lack of lockdown, but have Newbie compensated for that elsewhere enough, do you think? I mean, the Ember's that good tempo controller who has that short cooldown yes. disable. You've got an eight second cooldown on Searing Chains, it can set up a cold feed, so this fixed a lot of the problems. KP, getting aggressive bottom, but similarly on the OG side, not the best lockdown, at least early on. You've got Lasso once you for initiation later on. I think the big reason Naga works here is because Newbie, this game two draft, very different to game one. It's much more, you see the Void Phoenix, it's team fight, uh, you're playing around your big ulties. The Ember Spirit can solve the Naga problem a bit, but unlike last game, you're not worried about Newbie running at you 10 to 15 minutes in the game with Slaughter and Life Stealer. This time around, Newbie have to play around the cooldowns a bit more. They're also just not as fast tempo with a draft like this. 
Absolutely. And looking over to OG's lineup, do you imagine the kind of a play style that they're going to look for is kind of the combination Miracle, Moon, and Crit to be those playmakers looking for the action around the map where you have obviously Fly on his dazzle, looking after No Tail, trying it to get into that stage of the game where he's going to be this, you know, unstoppable late game force of our top lane. Moon in trouble and Moon gets the Sun Strike on point. Moon will start to take the salvo. In fact, Crit trying for the first burn. No Tail is going to find it on the bottom lane. Action going on globally here. OG with the first blood. Can Newbie find Moon in return? They are trying their best here. Moon's giving them a bit of a workout. And he is going to try and deny himself here to the neutrals. He's not going to be able to do it, though. Oh, trying Crit. finding the kill. And He's Chris actually in. rolled into this. He may end up giving Newbie a second kill if Howard Twan could get away with this one. Chains come out and Newbie will take a second. Going the way of Howe on the Ember Spirit. Oh, Crit will be regretting that one for a while, but the first blood going to Naga, that is obviously a, a great pickup at bottom. Does look like KP is getting some XP out of this lane, but the first blood for a Naga of all here is something you do have to be a little bit concerned about. Absolutely, and I'm sure we'll see KP start to play a little bit more reserved after being caught out at the start. And the mid lane matchup, it's going to be interesting to see how that pans out. Having this TA against the Invoker, I mean, obviously, you know, during the draft, Miracle, he's going to be picking up the TA if he feels confident in the matchup. He knows Invoker incredibly well, so we should expect to see Miracle do all right in this lane. Moo is one of those mid laners. Uh, he, he reminds me a lot of Fath is that people don't talk about him. Mechanically, though, insanely good. That is not like a he's not like like some 9k MMR player or anything, but he will win his lanes and even lanes that he maybe shouldn't win will do very well. The top moon in a lot of trouble here. The bird coming across Sunray wow. from across the tree line. Newbie taking down another kill on this top lane, punishing Moon for the second time. That Moon is. maybe needs to tone down the aggression up here. Level yeah. three now on the Phoenix. He's playing kind of extra aggressive because he's had the backup of Earth Spirit constantly, so he wants to try and set up these kills where he can get two or three Napalm stacks and have crit roll in. But he's just being kind of he's kind of overextending and trying to do a bit too much right now as newbie find a second kill on him and Something the panel talked a bit about was Moon having a good time in this lane, which so far has not happened. And immediately as well, we're seeing how dealing very well with Moon's aggression. As soon as he tries to go in, just holding him back oh, with the, the chains. Smoke mid. See so if they can get the wrap around. Going to ignore the courage, just go straight for the kill. Sunray onto Miracle, eating through those refraction charges. And Miracle, can he get himself out of this one? Will pop the fairy fire. The bolt charges, will it be enough? Diving forward. He Miracle dodges he the dive. it out. Miracle. Oh, his oh. positioning. Threads the needle there. And the way the dive works, he just... Oh, Crit, he's coming in to punish this as well. Kaka trying for the TP, realizes it's not going to work because the stun is available for Crit, and he just moves in, lays down the rock, beats down the bird. He certainly can kill a bird with one stone in this case. We're talking about one of the best Phoenix players in the world having his dive dodged by Miracle there. He stands right in the middle of it doesn't take any damage or get hit by the slow, and that is just some insane individual play out of the mid laner of OG, the 9k MMR miracle. Absolutely, and we need to see this high level play from OG, because game one, they got battered by Newbie. Newbie dealt incredibly well with them. They just played a, at a higher level. The, the draft, the performance wasn't there from OG, but already at the start of this game, it looks to be a much cleaner beginning. Yeah, after the two deaths, Moon has gone back to the lane and been able to put a bit of pressure on, get some farm. He's up to 11 CS and level 4, but similarly, bottom lane, Void, level 4 himself. So both offlaners having a decent time here early on. Now look at that. The stats indeed are not played a professional game for 11 months on the Nagasara no tell. So far, the farm's going good, and, and talking about the two side lanes, looking at the safe lane is the fact that No-Tail, 27 for 6, over on the top lane, How only 14 for 4. He's really been shut down in terms of the, the early game farm because of the presence of Moon and the occasional appearance of Crit. Yeah, and even when you're getting those like the kill and the assist at top on How, you're not going to match up well against the Naga Siren, who's free farming away. Oh, like, is, oh, ooh, crit, eyes onto the mid lane, getting a lot of, a, a lot of vision down around this yeah. mid lane as well. You have got level 6, so that means traps are online. And Crit's just going to try and find the perfect angle here. We'll clean out this final range creep, so the push is there, and then we have to get the creeps to Tango Town. Immediately, there we have it. The creeps are gone, so in comes Crit with the roll in. Onto Moon, Miracle. Has he got the damage to deal with this Invoker? He's got Moon turning up as well. They should be able to find it, and they will. Nothing that Twan could do to save him. Moon, Fire flying himself away. In fact, Kaka falling incredibly low. Needs to be careful on this Phoenix, but OG get away with that kill onto the Invoker. A bit of action there, favorable for Miracle. 
And this mid lane, 27 for 14 against the 21 for 6. A lot of denies as well done by the TA. It's looking good for OG. Yeah, just very timely rotation from the O Spirit, waiting for the trap slow. Even just that small microsecond of slow, allowing him to guarantee the boulder smash into rolling boulder. And from there, Invoker doesn't really have a good counterplay. Hasn't got any points in Wex. There's no ghost walk potential. And OG even covered their bases by having Moon rotate into the mid lane, just in case Newbie showed up with a lot of heroes. Look at this as well, Miracle. He's going to uh -oh. try and secure himself a rune. He does have backup from Crit coming in. The Sunray though, meaning the Miracle can't hang around to grab it. Regen will be there, but Crit... Oh, he's on to Kaka, gets up the stun, the slow, the silence as well. Will the damage be there though? And it's not, so Crit has to be careful now. Getting himself away. Kaka dies forward. Mu closing the gap as well, and Crit... Can he manage to play his way out of this one? He hasn't got anything else to throw out. Newbie will find the kill. Moon's turned up on the Batrider, trying to chase down the bird Kaka will be able to get away as Tron is there they'll look to turn this one moon still trying to find his four stacks onto the Phoenix it's a hard kill to get he's desperately going for it one more touch will do it and he'll find it but he is going to get punished how turning up the reaction the moon at the moment he's creating a lot of space wasting a lot of time here for newbie but with the tower hitting down onto him he will get punished for it he may have actually been able to TP out there. I don't know if he totally realized how he didn't actually have the Searing Chains up, but either way, a lot of, I guess, quote-unquote, space created, trading his life for a support. Not really ideal as a Batrider, but how had to rotate off the lane, came in, used Fire, uh, fire Remnant, and he can't TP back to lane. lane. Again, immediately with the trap, slow, trying to move in onto Moo. Crit, playing it perfectly. Moo out of mana here as well. Not a lot of hope for him until the backup comes through, and here we have it. KP TPing in, but Crit with the silence, making sure that the Kronos doesn't come out immediately. Now it comes out onto Miracle. Is the damage there? There's a bash. There's some ray as well. Miracle, will he be safe? Flies there, but he hasn't got the mana. The ball charges. Keep Miracle alive. They've taken down Moo. They'll turn towards KP, OG, take two, how? And with the reaction, finds a kill onto Miracle. Remnants up to the high ground, tries to finish off Moon. The flame guard taking him down, but the heal from Fly, the slow from Crit holding back. How? He won't be able to find himself anything else there. And it's a two for one for OG, but they do lose Miracle I, at the end of it. I mean, all this is going on while No Tail is free farming, remind you. Newbie are playing 5v4 Dota right now. No Tail, Arcane Boots, Aquila, trying to pressure the T1 tower. And this is going to be a big concern for Newbie, who are going to actually decide to rotate Moo off this mid lane. It's just been such a bloodbath there. They don't want Invoker involved in this much fighting. He's only level 6, 8 minutes into the game. Moo needs to find some farm and alone time, so he's like, okay, let's make a truce. I'll go down bottom. Me and No-Tail can have our farming time, but he does not want to go anywhere near the action. Absolutely, at the moment. You know, Newbie, they're, they're playing similar to how they went the first game, just reacting to every kind of play that OG is going for. But at the moment, the trades are going OG's way. Yeah, and you, and you can kind of see what Newbie feel like they have to do. How's he oh, even picked up a drop? Hello. <laughs> Gakka just diving away there. <laughs> He's got to be careful that I'm in Miracle, as we've seen this man willing to play incredibly aggressively on his TA. Yep. Yeah. The Ember of How has to be the one kind of to create space for Invoker at this point. Void has to play around the Chrono cooldown. You can't get kills alone as a Void. You're talking about an offlane Void with just brown boots and a poor man shield, so... How's Ember with the AA Ice Blast has to be kind of the, the killing duo of this this newbie lineup right now. You've always got the Sunstrike that can go flying in, but you don't want to actually fight with your Invoker outside of that global Sunstrike. And we can see... Okay, there's a bit of a, a nice creep stack there for the Dire towards the top by the lane. So Amber, as we can see now how, just getting the pull across, clearing out some of these larger creeps. And this is keeping him very, very close to the farm of no -Tail. We saw at the start that Hale was falling behind in CS, but at this stage, just only a few hundred behind this Naga Siren, which has been given a lot of space. So, so Nubi at least able to close the gap there, mid lane Kaka, just trying to do his best to to, to slow down Miracle's farm with the Sunray spam. Yeah. He's not going to be able to get a kill, but nonetheless going to be incredibly annoying. He wants to hit that level 6. Could buy the Tome of XP at 10 minutes and hit level 6 and go oh, for a smoke play, but... Here we go with the setup down bottom, Newbie. They need to have TPs in if they want to have a chance of countering this one. The Silence should be there as well in case, and it is. Crit plays it perfectly. That is so good. They time the sleep. They, they take the sleep off as the Boulder Smash is going through. Meanwhile, Dazzle does get picked off by yes. an Ice Blast, it looks like, but the much bigger kill on the Void at bottom lane, and a very well executed kill at that. Does put Song of the Siren on cooldown, which is that long three minute cooldown. If Newbie want to go for a gank, No Tail will not have that escape spell. 
I mean, at the moment as well, we, we, we see Miracle at the start. You know, when he went aggressive, they did react to him. Do, do the side of Newbie look to, to take down and punish this TA? I mean, where are you kind of looking to put your efforts at the moment? Killing Naga is the dream scenario, yeah. knowing that there's no song. If you can find the Naga, it's not necessarily a guaranteed kill. It's still a 1k HP Naga, but with a, a Chronosphere into Sunstrike, you've got... Well, no Supernova yet. Kaka's not quite there, so it looks like they're going to instead go for the easier kill on the TA. Yeah, here we have it. Wrapping around KP. He's going to jump in immediately, committing the Chronosphere. We'll see if there's going to be any kind of save from OG. TP's are coming through, but the pure damage coming down as the head of Miracle. They'll find themselves the kill. Moon's there. No lasso available yet. Yet to skill it here at level 8 with a supernova out. KP getting the patches. Moon in a lot of trouble, but Fly gets the grave out. Moon will be able to escape. Oh, Still Kaka. Oh, the Surreal will get him. Brit turns in. And as you get out the Magnetize, can they stop this man TPing out? They can't. He's gone. So OG losing to Newbie. Won't be punished at all there in that engagement. And now regaining good control of this game. Nine for seven. Something else to know, of course, just thinking this incredible timing of Tuan. You look towards Tuan. He had a Midas at 10 minutes in. Yeah, this 3 0 3. I and mean, Tuan, as far as the. I guess he, I don't know, he's, he's kind of plays that sometimes four, sometimes five position support. As far as the role he plays, where he's on the five position heroes but gets a lot of farm, he always has these amazing games. His Lion last game, we saw it. Another Ice Blast mid, Miracle. Oh, yeah, this is the perfect setup here for Nubia if they can find the follow through. Refraction's gone. Sunstrike will be there as well. It's going to be off the point, but the Sunray, that doesn't miss. Level four Sunray this early on, and. You cannot rely on Refraction. This is where, yes, TA, good laning matchup against the Invoker, but once you get out of that laning stage, this hero struggles tremendously against Phoenix, AA, a Chronosphere lockdown, Ember Spirit. You've got so many ways to fight and deal with the TA Refraction. Uh, a lot of this now really on to Notel to just continue to make sure that he finds the farm. He has 2.2k on him at the moment. I imagine the build he, he is going to be saving up for that relic this game. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, no question about it. That is the build which can win your team this game. OG, oh, it's going to come down to cre creating space for, for No Tail to get that range and come online. And TA, not really the best hero to fit that description, but Miracle as a player fits that description because Newbie just, I mean, they're like, okay, it's Miracle. We've got to keep ganking him. We've got to keep killing him. They've taken him out three times, but as a result, Naga's been able to free farm the lane, and the jungle has 91 CS already. Is being out farmed by Hal now, who took down the T1 tower, so, as well as being involved in a lot of killing. Immediately jumping in on the moon. Sunray, Sunstrike, goodbye, Sunshine. Another kill for Newbie. I mean, this, this catch potential, you know, if yeah. you land this Chronosphere, you're pretty much killing anyone on the side of OG every time, as long as you have at least a plus one and a Sunstrike. And the Nubia just being so proactive at finding pickups. It's not as fast paced as last game in terms of taking objectives, but as far as finding fights and getting kills, it's just as fast paced. All out of Kaka's Phoenix, it feels like. Oh, Miracle and how? It's kind of playing around with each other here in the mid lane. Kaka keeping eyes on No Tail. They do really want to try and kill this man again. 2.7k gold, No Tail. Getting closer and closer to the relic. Yeah. Speaking of Midas's, it looks like Kaka close to his as well. So we're going to be looking at very rich, triple and high level supports on newbie side. You're versing a Naga, what do you do? You match greed with greed. OG, four towards the mid lane. The ping's coming out. Newbie are hanging around for, for a bit of a reaction if OG start to go aggressive once more. Tower incredibly low, they'd love to find that extra bit of gold by getting the final touch OG, but already how? Eyes onto Moon, gets the chains off, in some kind of follow through, we've coming through from Fly, and a Moon will be given the backup, here comes the Ancient Iron for Ocean Ice Blast, onto Fly, remnanting forward, looking to kill off the Dazzle How he can't quite get it, Sunray flying front to Miracle, and they've lost the TA! Yep. Again, Newbie finding these huge kills, and, and they're not done, they're moving from what's a fantastic supernova in the middle of it all, Fly will grave himself, continue to run, Ow, coming in for the side, he's got the slight and the chains ready at the waiting. Fly, brought that incredibly low. Doesn't quite get the latch off here and Fly will survive. Sunstrike, who's it going to catch? No one for the time being. So OG will be able to keep the rest alive. Boom's got eyes on Takaka and he'll move in. Kaka's just going to go for the TP out. He's not going to make it. Flame Break will be there and Moon just playing with the Firebird. 
fire with fire there, and Moon finds the kill. He needed Al's, that. Al's looking for Moon, though. And with the Ice Blast, that might just catch him in. No, it can't quite get him. And with the back of a crit, can Moon actually get himself away from this one? Time dilation coming through the slows there, but oh, Fly, the backup Miracles there as well. KP holding out for the perfect Chrono. Will he be able to get it off? He should, and he does. Two men on Defensive the couch of it. Yeah, they've That's got to get themselves fight. out. Kind of uses it like the Song of the Siren there, just to cover the retreat of Hao, who is very low on mana, as well as the Invoker of Mu. But again, while this is all going on, No Tail has 4k gold, has the Relic money. He's ready to go, and with the T1 Tower, they'll get even more money on top of this. Chuan, not going to go for the Deny. It really is all about whether or not, or not this is a game that a Naga can win. I mean, the later this goes, I mean, you look at Newbie's lineup, as you said, because of the way that they've been building and, and the heroes themselves, they're still going to be incredibly relevant towards the latter portions of a game if it ends up going that far. It's actually... I've never seen this build out of a Batrider. He's still got no points in Flaming Lasso at level 10. He's not even going Blink Dagger. He's going straight into an Aether Lens. This is like OG saying our plan is just to, to farm. We're not looking for pickoffs. We're looking just to go for these kind of more stable item buildups where... We're not going to be setting the tempo. They're letting Newbie be the one to decide how this game plays out. But for the most part, it's working because no tail has gone completely unchecked. Newbie have lost a bit of their early game lead here as we transition into the mid game. Taka is coming across the jungle. They need to keep tabs on no tail. Check out the man's progression. Make sure that he doesn't get too out of control. It's really just, too, at this point, it's like too late to gank him. You've just kind of accepted and conceded to the fact that Naga's going to have a 18-minute Radiance, and Nubia just saying, we think we can beat it with the way they're prioritizing ganking Miracle. And it, I think the one thing to look at as like, okay, we're giving Naga free farm, and beat, let's try beat it late game, is they've got triple Midas. They're going to scale very well, and TA is not going to scale all that well. A miracle. I mean, he really is going for the playmaking build here. Rather than finishing off the full death, so first, he's just going to pick up that blink dagger on top of the blight side. Yeah. This is, in some ways, more defensive than offensive, this game, just because with the refraction up, if you get initiate on, you can still blink away, since you don't take damage with the refraction up. Does not disable your blinking. Newbie. Looking for a big, big smoke here. Yeah. But at the same time, OG, they grouped up as four as well. And the Blink also great against the Void. You can, if you're Fast oh, Fingers miracle. and we're talking about Miracle, you can get and that Blink gonna dispel. What's the reaction gonna be immediately just trying to get themselves out of there. Crit turns around, gets a two-man stun. How? Can't quite get the catch off. The roll away is there from Crit. Crit and Fly, they need to run, because How, he's moving in. KP trying to get close enough to land the Chronosphere. How? Chains onto two, Sunstrike as well, but it's a little bit too far for Newbie to commit. They're now starting to back up. It's a three-man weave as OG, they'll want to fight into this one. Kaka does have a supernova available, but the Lasso's there, but immediately the Chronosphere reaction. Mookle tried to finish off Kaka, he can't quite do it now, he's got to run. The Ice Blast flying through, the Silence has done, the Flame Break, KP brought it incredibly low. Time walks away, he's going to survive for the time being, but are the oh, they still getting the Magnetize? It will bring him down, and OG find two how. Looking for the TP, but Crit with the play! He shoots, he scores! It's a double kill for Crit! Miracle! He's still potentially got eyes looking for more. Moon and Crit are there to back it up. It's just a poor old solo AA. Goodbye, Tuan, as OG take a fourth, equalizing the scoreboard off now. 12 for 12. A huge fight for them there, and Newbie. They just were too damn aggressive gods. Yeah, they, they find themselves in incredibly deep. They've already committed the Phoenix dive in. Miracle positioned himself that he blinked behind the corner. was seeing Phoenix for a second. It looked bad for OG when they, the song actually saved the Phoenix for a while, but Crit comes up big. He hits the, the stun as the song ends, again, preventing the Phoenix from using that kind of escape spell or using the supernova. And you take the Phoenix supernova and Sunring out of the fight and Newbie are missing one of their biggest tools, their most important tools for an engagement and just really good control from OG, baiting Newbie as deep as they did and then they just turn it around. Absolutely, I mean, you mentioned Crit, I mean, he on his Earth Spirit. It's been Obviously the Obviously his really. staple, but yeah. He has had an absolutely incredible performance so far. 3-2-7, he's coming up to the money for that Blink Dagger if that's what he wants to go for straight up. But yeah, what, what a great Earth Spirit game this has been so far. And, and every single time it's been there, as you said, just, just to follow up the song, any kind of setup from OG. Uh, this game, I think that this is pretty much as close as we expected an OG newbie matchup in the upper bracket to be. Oh, absolutely, and completely unexpected with the way that this draft has gone with the Naga Siren TA. 
duo from OG, and so far so good. OG, TA is back in the game after that fight. Miracle is suddenly up there with the Invoker in terms of farm. How's the one who's also falling off now? And he's just get back to work on that battle theory. But Newbie have snuck their way into the Roche pit. Yeah, this is nice as well. If they can get away with this one. OG, you got any idea that this is going on at the moment? Four towards the mid. They are going to start to make a movement across. And Miracle has a trap ready to lay down. So they know what's up. It doesn't look like Newbie will get away with this one. And indeed they won't. You know, they've been spotted. KP still hanging around. Playing around with the Roshan, but OG will be there ready for the battle. And looks like it won't kick off for the time being. Neither team feeling confident enough to move into the pit. And as we can just see, Miracle actually just posed incredibly aggressively to see if anyone comes around through this area of the jungle. I think partly why Newbie want to take it now is because taking Roche only gets more difficult now that Naga is starting to commence the split. Oh, Miracle push. could go for this mid because Crit's there as well to find the follow through. Mu will get out the Ghost Walk in time. They don't have detection, so Mu will be able to walk this one off successfully. Crit just a little bit too slow there with a the follow up silence, and, and Mu just too down cr quick with the reactions. OG starting to just assert dominance on the map. Being able to push out all these lanes using the Naga Illusions has just given them a ton of map control. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to get too many wards up. Newbie have dewarded the recent ones, but Fly taking a path into the enemy jungle will be looking to get some aggressive vision if they up. can get how as well. They need Crit to hit a stun or a silence. They'll get it immediately. Immediate silence from Crit. One, two, Miracle. Ripping through how on the Amber Spirit. And now this is a stage as well where Miracle just 300 gold away from the Desolator. If he has that, you know, it, it, within the next minute as well as the Blink Dagger, it's going to cause so many issues for Newbie. And also on top of that, the fact is we constantly say that No Tail, he's had a perfect game. He's 12,000 net worth. He hasn't died at all. The Naga start has been, it's been perfect for him. Oh, uh, absolutely. Uh, him and Crit have really just showed up here in game number two when OG have needed it. Yeah. You have your, your star mid player getting shut down, prioritized. He's on a hero that's getting countered by Newbie's draft. If anything, Newbie fell in the trap like, oh, we've got this great draft that can counter TA, but leaving a Naga Siren ignored and no tell has taken so much with all that space he's been given. And he's in a great position to succeed here and force a game three, but Newbie... They've got that big scary team fight lineup, and that's something they're definitely going to be looking to use with a level two super. Smoked up again. They're looking for Karka. Jumps in with a stun. Oh, a miracle! Again, it's, it's crit. so much damage at this stage. I mean, these every single time you look at Newbie, you've got escape spells like Phoenix has died. You've got Ember Spirit with the Remnant escape, Void with the time walk, and every single time Crit is there with the stun and or the silence to prevent those escape spells. He's been on point, and you look at these games, you figure, okay, maybe like one or two times you're going to get away every single time he stopped the escape. Miracle. Not afraid to go. <laughs> Tickle. Ah, uh, how? Just teasing him here on the side. But, but as you said, yeah. I mean, how do, how do you deal with this just constant threat of crit jumping in and getting that, that initial lockdown onto you if you are the side of Newbie? I think Newbie needed to look for a, a smoke play fairly soon again. They've recently got a full staff up. They're perhaps waiting for the Aghanim Scepter on move, but they can't just sit back and let, let OG dominate the map. Try and smoke up using three or four heroes. The AA has a global ice blast. Invoker's got the global sunstrike. So just send like the Ember, Void, and Phoenix this top for lane. a three man smoke. Ow. He's got to be careful. OG know he's there. And they're going to be ready to jump in. Crit immediately with a stun. The silence in there. We have it again. It really is the crit show. He's, this blink dagger this early on is just completely wrecked newbie. This, uh, this Ember is just like, man, we get, even when he gets this battle here, he still can't farm. He's still so prone to just being blown up as we just saw. Oh, man. And it's exactly the way that we expected OG to play from the start. Having these playmakers, giving No Tail this space. So you're essentially winning the game so far without No Tail needing to do anything. I mean, yep. occasionally we've seen him come out with kind of two songs in big fights, but he's had so much space. Now he's going to use the song. It should be a, a little bit, yeah, I was going to say, just TP straight out of this one, a newbie. It's a nice five-man gank. JK as well, OG avert it all. They're thinking about Roche, but with that right in the neighborhood, I don't even know if OG are going to let this happen. Miracle could theoretically pressure the top lane with his death slate, but he said, screw that, let, let's fight Roche, yeah. yeah absolutely, a newbie know this, so newbie. We'll look to try and fight outside of the pit. Managed to find a lock onto Miracle. Miracle could be in a bit of trouble with the Sun Ray. The Ice Blast as well. They'll find it. Okay. Huge kill for Newbie there. Yeah, that was a, he rotated past the tower at mid and Newbie recognizing that he was completely alone. TP the Ember in and catch him, preventing his Blink Dagger. So really nice punish from Newbie.
I mean, as Song of the Sirens down, there's no miracle. This is a good bit of space for Newbie. We'll see what they decide to do with it. They're smoked up. Yeah. They don't kill Roosh incredibly fast, but it might just be fast enough with TA dead and Song down. I mean, OG, they are coming across them. We'll see if they do still want to have a go of it, Crit. It's so annoying. You, you've got boulder smashes, flame breaks, all these long range stuns. And annoying nukes just flying in, and you can't even punish this. If you're a newbie, yeah. you've got to try and jump one of these heroes that keep throwing these nukes. But an Earth Spirit has a blink. That Rider also has a blink. Now you're not going to catch these heroes. And, and at this rate, Miracle's going to be back on oh, the field okay, in time. They've oh, one. they've caught Moon. Chrono into the ice glass. The bat's down. Oh, he's picked up a Shadow Blade just for that initiation. I like this from KP. Ow, Talk uh, about how to find these pickoffs. Eyes onto No-Tail. No-Tail's alone here. He needs some help. Has picked up his Octarine, though. I mean, as we said, the farm 26 minutes in. Radiance Octarine Naga. Yeah, the Shadow Blade from KP is recognizing that Newbie's catch is very lacking and they need some way to reliably initiate. Blink Dagger isn't all that good when you're against the Radiance Illusion, so gets the Shadow Blade, but the response that is likely to come from OG is you get a gem and give it to your Naga. The Illusions kind of going out on the map can always see that initiation coming in. And also for the time being, both teams are just going to draw their attention away from the pit. Very, very scared, of course, of Miracles TA, the side of Newbie. They know that it's it's pretty much suicide to try and go for the Roche whilst OG have these heroes alive. Especially with the Chronosphere, of course, back on cooldown. And OG, oh, they're certainly not scared themselves. They're going to smoke up, move immediately over to the pit. And they themselves, with that TA, have a huge amount of damage. No Chrono for 45. This is a great timing to try and go for it. See if Newbie do head over and, and do contest. In fact, it looks like OG may. No, okay, here with the Sunshine. They know what's up. Ice Blast. It's gonna be nice. Connects onto none of them. In fact, Miracle sidesteps it successfully. OG move back in. Moon has the lasso up as well. KP looking for some kind of a wraparound with the Shadow Blade, but still that 20 seconds until the Chronos fit. The egg by the Roche Pit, very deadly to fight into, since you can plant it on the cliffs. But without Chrono, yep. oh, they'll even song. Yeah, just to make sure. And OG. Take the Roche, Aegis now, on to Miracle. And no response available from, from Newbie. Al still trying to farm up his Battle Fury. He's had a miserable time these last 10 minutes. No Battle Fury, hasn't been able to farm out on the map. The punish from this Earth Spirit just keeps on coming his way. He's in Crit Moon. Oh, KP, what's a Courier? Everyone at the moment just being incredibly sneaky on both sides. Keeping themselves in the trees, but no one's going to catch out either. Bottom lane. I was going to be careful. Moons there, ready with the catch. Jumps in. Lasso and crit with the damage. Should be enough to bring him down, and it is indeed. Catching How out just like that. We've seen it so many times. I mean, Moon and crit this time working in collaboration to find the kill, and, yeah. and it's successful. He finally thought, like, okay, they've left this bottom lane. I can get my battle here. No. Uh, OG are patient. They'll wait. They've figured out how his farming patterns, they know where he is on the map, they've just really read him well the last 10 minutes of this game, and as a result, Newbie do not have the farm they need on the hero they picked to help deal with the Naga Siren. Naga Siren, over 10k net worth ahead of Hal's Ember Spirit. It is crazy how our hotel has been, been farming up, but at the same time, it's, it's not unexpected because of the fact that Newbie just haven't been given the chance to get themselves down there and attempt to deal with the Naga. We saw them go for one five-man gank, but the song was there, the initiation was cancelled, and ever since that, Newbie just haven't tried to do it again. Oh. OG ready to push forward now with Aegis on Miracle. They can just be split pushing all these lanes with Naga Siren while they've got a good base breaking hero in, in the form of the Desolated TA. So life gets very difficult for Newbie here after rely on that heavy team fight of theirs. They've got to land that big Chrono if they want to stand a chance in this fight. And here, there, there is the gem on the Naga Siren that I talked yeah. about. You get this up, you send those illusions around. KP can no longer rely on this Shadow Blade for his initiation. I see how hard. How do you want to go in on this mid lane? Newbie. Oh, KP side. found. And Moon just out. dies onto KP top. How's trying to do his best to clean it out here. And OG. Looks like they're not going to be able to muster the courage to go straight in as of yet. Yeah. It's a free tier 2 tower for them to take it bottom lane. And we're talking about taking free towers into what is the big team fight lineup of oh. Newbie. Okay, no. Miracle. 
this Battle Fury pick up by how I mean, doesn't even change all it's too so much. It's so late, yeah. yeah. It's not, not the timing that you're looking for as an Ember Spirit. But they OG, the way that they played this, the way that they've drafted this as well, they, they've just dealt excellently with what Newbie wanted to do this game. It's a total different story to what we saw in game one, and, and here we have Miracle. It's chipping away at the tier threes, what, what kind of response is Newbie going to give? It's so difficult because you've got Naga Illusions pressuring the mid lane, they're chasing Phoenix around, so they're always kind of keeping tabs of where the Phoenix is going to be. And it's just very reliable, safe damage. Miracle just slowly chipping away at the tier three tower, and it's forcing Newbie to make a play. Right? I mean, Miracle just... He's finding this down on his own, and Newbie, they're just being forced back to the base by No Tails Illusions. Ice Blast won't even land, and Miracle's just gotten a free tier 3. And now with no Ice Blast, OG, they know that they've got the time to move back in. Just continue to push onto the racks. And Nubi, I think they're just wondering what the heck they can do. Maybe if they can find some sort of a Chrono Sphere. KP, but again, as you said, these illusions with the gems just meaning that KP can't That's find the jump in that he wants supernova. to. He used it just so he doesn't die to Naga illusion. This oh is... my goodness. Nubi are in disarray right now. Their initiation just isn't there with a Shadow Blade into a gem. And... Oh, Miracle. Look at the move. One of the Ghost Walk will be there. KP gets on the Chronosphere. Can they take on the tier? But fly with his Shallow Grave, keeping Miracle alive. No tell. Moving into the center of it all. Ice Blast won't catch Miracle. He's still keeping his first time attack. And crit hits onto the Invoker. The Aegis will be popped to buy back immediately from Mu. Trying to get himself back in and hold on this defense. But KP, he's been caught out on the back lines. They'll take down the Void as well. No buyback available for 50 seconds. Now. Oh, he's been lassoed in, <laughs> and just like that, Miracle ripping the Ember to shreds. The Snort, they'll come out with this, and, and at this stage, Newbie, I mean, game one, they were beating OG around in their base, but this time, OG beat Newbie around in theirs. GG is called. What a turnaround in game two, and I mean, game three, Parker, off the back of what we've seen going either way, I don't know how it's going to end up. I mean, this game even started well for Newbie. Their early game pressure on the mid lane with the Phoenix Sunray, they constantly kill Miracle. They had the kills going their way. KP got a bit bullied in the off lane on his Void, but both top and middle lane were going well. Moon's Batrider died a lot in the early game.